did not play for the Magpies today. Tonight, a replay begins at the 13-minute mark of the first quarter. Collingwood is leading by 10 points. With me in the commentary box. That's the first for 1986. We certainly hope that you're enjoying this uh, direct telecast, wherever you may be throughout Australia. To the Seven Network. Knocked out by Fellows, doing a great job. Oh, Moore would run into a brick wall through Baker, but backing up well there with uh, Reigns. He's got a panic to run, and he runs to the centre of the ground. Then he lets go. He can kick a football. Two over the half forward line. The pack fly. They all missed that. Tapped on beautifully by Manson. Over it goes to Burgess. It's a goal. Great play on the part of Manson that time. There was a fight on. Box on here now. Right in the goal square. Well, I think they've been hanging out for quite some time. I expected this to happen long before this, Pete, on, on such a hot day. But they may calm down. Manson being spoken to. Well, he's kicked the goal. That's the time you walk away from the top. We watch that again. Reigns with a long kick up there, and you watch Manson get this ball out quickly. There he goes, taps it on nicely to Burgess, and it's a goal. Well, Collingwood now three goals, one 19 to Eston, yet to score a goal, three behinds on the ball. Barham, Burgess and Tony Shaw, the goal kickers for Essendon, for uh, Collingwood. As Lou said, Essendon yet to score a goal. On Sevens Big League, 16 points the difference, 15 minutes gone in the first quarter. The 86 season off to a spectacular start here at Victoria Park as Merritt puts Essendon into attack down towards their right half forward flank. Oh, Seven, great mark. Right over the top of Glowry. Well, that kid's got to play him in front all the time, Pete. He'll have no hope playing for Vine because he, he's such a great player to position himself. So Salmon directly in front, and he's only about 15 metres out from goal. He's already kicked one behind. Now you watch how long Salmon takes to kick this uh, goal because he knows the importance of it. I take it you're assuming he's going to put it through for a goal. Well, I that, reckon he would, case. Pete. I must agree with you. He shouldn't miss from there. 15 metres out, Paul Salmon. Essendon's first goal coming up at the 15 and three-quarter minute mark. Fine mark from Salmon. And he'll probably finish the day with about six, but it makes the difference. Ten points, 3-1 three, one to 1-3 one, in the first quarter. Well, that young kid, Glare, has got to play him in front all the time. Now, he's a new boy playing his first game, and, uh, of course, he's giving away at least uh, 13 centimetres, which is five inches. You watch this again. The kid will have no hope at the back because he just can't reach over the top of him. He's got to get it. Madden off the ground for Essendon. I don't know whether there's an injury problem. Spencer has come on. I think it could be because of the heat, Pete. 16 and a half minutes gone, 10 points the difference in the first quarter. Williams out of the centre for Collingwood, down towards half forward, almost taken by Neville Shaw. Second chance, Grant will not in possession, I would have thought. He'll take the free kick at the right half forward, thank you. Playing well so far too, in fact both the Shaw brothers are, we expect that. Mullane had the sit, couldn't take it, Watson tries to spin out, gets the hand pass out. Neville Shaw almost into cell. Tony Shaw it was, has left to Glenn Hawker though. Hawker's kick around the boundary line, bounces over it, and it will be a throw in on centre wing on the outer side. Wind blowing today from the north. Probably run about the uh, 10 or 15 knot mark, but a great day for football. Probably a better day for the beach. A better day for the supporters rather than the players. Yes, Pete. I think so. Fellows and Williams are the flyers for Collingwood. Nobody can gain control with that. It's out of bounds. A little bit closer to the Collingwood end. Probably about 10 or 15 metres and that's all. Number 23 for Essendon. And Spencer, who as we mentioned, has just come on. And pushing the back. Well, he was lucky to get that. I'd say so. I had to look to see which way he was indicating. <laughs> Tony Shaw. Manson and Vanderhaar. Hawker. Hawker's kick is a high one, not well directed. The mark taken by Sumner on centre wing. Looking for Manson. Ball past Williams, out of bounds again. Right half forward flank for Collingwood. Only 18 minutes got in the first quarter, and it will be a boundary throw. -in. And there's 10 points the difference in favour of Collingwood, getting off to a good start in this first quarter. Ball knocked out the Neville Shaw. He's been their star player. We see Donnell uh, missed that one, a chance for Richard Hawkers. Hawkers right on his tail. He's got the job of tagging him. It'll be, and it'll be hard the ball against him. I thought it could have gone the other way, but uh, agree with you, we right? always say the umpire said he didn't try to uh, do something about it. It was a good tackle by Hawker. Played well, too. Well, back there to uh, Fellows. Got under that one. Picked up here now by Watterson. It goes towards the boundary line. Kicked off the ground that time by Williams. But too late. 
and the ball is out of bounds up towards the center wing position on the outer side a capacity crowd here today around about the 30,000 as we said before looks more like a cricket crowd rather than a football crowd and not a great day to start the season off uh, as far as the players are concerned because they're going to sleep well tonight they'll be very tired scrimmage again and the umpire will ball it up out there on the center wing position of course uh, salmon has already kicked one goal and uh, Collingwood have got three goals on the board and who are the goal kickers there Pete Barham Burgess and Tony Shaw and they were pretty smart goals that Collingwood kicked in the early stage of this match well there's a good tackle it'll be home the ball that was a great tap tackle by the Collingwood skipper against uh, Williams and there's no doubt about this fellow he certainly sets the example he's one of the most inspirational players the Magpies have, if, if not the most inspirational. Three kicks and one mark to Mark Williams. Ball goes back there towards, oh, there's a high mark taken that time. Uh, he went for a quick hand pass. That was Spencer. A bit foolish, could have gone back for the uh, kick. Thompson gets it over now to Wood. That's Mark and Wood uh, back now. And Timmy Watson breaking clear. He's been a bit quiet today. But that's, oh, bad hand. Got that time by Clark. In goes Phillips. He's in Ooh. trouble. Down he goes. They pounce on top of him. He got one from the mirror. The umpire said it'll be a free kick. I thought it was a fair bump by Merritt. He couldn't do anything else that time. Phillips goes wide, looking for the Collingwood captain. He's got the ball out there at half back. Still 10 points the difference in favour of Collingwood. This, uh, today the wind is pretty strong, but it blows across the ground. Ricky Barr. Oh, Mark. Great mark. And there's no more brilliant player than this fellow when he's firing. There's a lead coming for Manson. He's dropped it short. Manson flies. Vanderhaar, they both get under it. Backing up well as Mark Thompson down there at centre half. Back goes wide. Looking out there from Michael uh, Thompson. Thompson does a nice little turn. Short pass. No one there. Fellows goes in over, runs the ball. It's a bit of kicking going there. Wild kicking that goes out wide. Baker goes down from one. No, McEwen goes down, I should say. Players smothering the ball there on the umpire. Will ball it up. Out there on the Essendon's half forward line, about uh, 50 metres out from their goal. Calling with three goals, 119. To Western, one goal, three nine points. Into this quarter by uh, just on 20 minutes. A bounce left half forward flank for Essendon. And now it's going to be a boundary throw in. I think you'll find, Pete, that the uh, wind, you can kick goals either end of this ground uh, when the uh, wind is strong because it blows just about across the it ground. It is, yes, from the north this afternoon. Morwood scooped out the Phillips. Best way to describe that, I think. Over to Shaw. Back to Smith. Got one for his corner a little bit too high, but no free kick for that. Smith again, second chance, Phillips defending well in the first quarter, not a good kick by the former South Australian, the opportunity for Donnell and he makes the most of that certainly, gets clear of Barham, that's not easy to do, chips it into the centre, Watson, Thompson, Watson, Watson coming into his own now, he can go long, does so, he'll be looking for Salmon, he won't get that one, Fellows almost had the grab, little Lizard, snaps off the goal, he might have put it through, Salmon, yes, two goals. 15 to 19, four points in it. Seven's big league from Victoria Park. 25 minute mark now of the first quarter. Collingwood's lead reduced to two points. And now is Neville Shaw, a hand pass to Richardson. A putt shot at goal, but he's off target. And it's out of bounds on the fourth. Well, some of the superstars on both sides are down a bit. Timmy Watson's had a couple of touches. Richardson's been pretty quiet. It's been the real battles that keeping Collingwood and Eston in the game, Pete. Yes, Collingwood, uh, if you can call them battles, well, have started mean, off well, haven't they? That's right. Reigns comes out, a hand pass to Richardson. Merritt uh, couldn't get clear. Phillips tries to get it over. In comes Williams, gives a hand pass over there to Walsh. The ball out wide has a race going on now, and he's got it, Donnell. He's grabbed it, but he didn't play on. McEwen tried to bluff the umpire that time. A short pass over the half four line. There's the big fella flying. This time it's Merritt coming well now. Got away uh, from Phillips. This is what you're going to put up when you've got uh, with this Eston side. There's so many guys on that forward line that can take a mark. And uh, Merritt has now the chance of putting Eston in front. He's had a couple of kicks, and as we said before, Phillips has done very well on him in this first quarter. He's had eight possessions, uh, Phillips. And Merritt's only about uh, 35 metres out, if that, directly in front. Taking plenty of time to kick this one. And there it is, and it's a goal, so the Bombers have hit the front. Eston. Three goals, 5-23 to Collingwood, 3 one 19. Eston been hitting the front for the first time in the time-on period, some two minutes in. 
after Collingwood had kicked two goals earlier before Collingwood, before Essendon had got off the mark. Manel, you see Big Merritt come in from the side. Almost like Roy's heart, that one. Four points the difference in favour of Essendon now. 27 minutes got in the first quarter. The reigning premiers hitting the lead for the first time in the time on period. Williams' kick is a long one. Donnell again. Oh, almost a screamer. Izzard was there with him. Gets caught almost with the ball. Back to Donnell. Donnell's right foot. Snapshot into the goal square. Salmon and Glowry off the hands. One point or a free kick to Salmon it will be. Goal number two is coming up. I think it was, Pete. Well, goal number three is kicked two already. It was a wrestle, certainly. Here it is again, Luke. Well, it's quite obvious that Sam is not trying to wrestle the full back because he wants to get away from him. The young fellow, inexperienced there, just made it a little bit too obvious. Well, I said during the commentary earlier in the quarter, Sam would probably kick six. He's kicked two already. There's a chance to make it three. So maybe he can get double figures here today. That's his third. the job. Ten points the difference. Collingwood led by a similar margin. Not long back, it's 3-1 to 4-5 in favour of the reigning premiers. Goal kickers for Essendon, three to Salmon and one for Merritt. And for Collingwood, Barham, Burgess and Tony Shaw. Here's that replay again, as I said, a wrestle, perhaps the best way to describe it. Well, the young fella, even though in his endeavour, is not giving Salmon much chance to mark the ball. I know you've got to stop them, but there is an infringement there. There's no doubt about that, Pete. He's kicked three. Any thoughts of perhaps a move in that regard, Lou? Well, I don't know what you'd do about it yet. Uh, I'll give the kid uh, till the end of this quarter or so to settle down. It's a bit hard on him, I reckon. The thing is, who can they put there? Well, that's right. Phillips could go there, I suppose. And you've got Roger Merritt to contend with. Ten points the difference in favour of Essendon. Three goals to Paul Salmon as the Bombers start to get into top gear late in the first quarter. Ball out towards Gaifer. Gaffer getting clear of Williams, beautiful turn, spins on a thrippling bit, short passes in towards centre field, is accepted by Reigns, caught but plays on. Reigns' long kick out towards the right half forward flank, Van der Haar playing in front of Manson, has taken the ground. Van der Haar playing at fullback, playing in many positions, this guy, one of the most brilliant marks in the business. Drives it out wide, as a go now, for Smith to give the hand pass over to Richardson. He could have a shot, he's got plenty of room to run here, he's going to let fly now, let's see the result, not a bad kick either. There's nowhere to go at the moment, but uh, they're doing okay, Essendon. Looking pretty strong. Ball hits the deck. Down goes uh, a couple of players. Van uh, Danaher there, two and more, would stagger a bit, but the ball is out of bounds on Collingwood's half forward line. Let's say it's about 75 metres around from their goal. And the wind, a very strong north wind, blowing across the ground. It's a very hot day, around about 35 degrees. Capacity house. Watterson gets a hurried kick and there'll be a mark taken by Burgess out there on the centre wing position. So at the 16 minute mark, the difference would be now about uh, 24 points. And Bill, a mark taken there by Billy Beck and he's got it. Three grams, but uh, Bill's in position. Well, if he kicks a goal here, Billy, this could lift the entire Collingwood side. One grab. Had a bit of Two, a juggle. Three. Got the, good on you, Bill. And about 35 metres out, maybe 40. Is that too long for Bill Pickin? Well, many would say yes. As far as he can go, Pete. I think it'd be about optimum distance for Bill. We'll soon see. Oh, sensational stuff from Billy Pickin. I'll bring the grandstand down now as Billy brings up his first goal for Collingwood in two years. And he's pretty happy about it too. Seven big league scoreboard, 6-2-38 Collingwood. Reigning premiers, 8-8-56. Well, if Collingwood need a lift, that's the sort of thing that will lift the team. Watch that mark again. Now, Billy did have a couple of grabs, but keeping the eye on the ball, he finally took it down. It was a brilliant goal from Billy Pickett. And that inspiring goal, if Collingwood had got any go about them, that's the one to help them a bit, Pete. Two goals to Barham, singles to Pickett, Richardson, Burgess and Tony Shaw. 38 plays 56 on seventh big league from Victoria Park. The umpire has found a free kick. It's going Collingwood's way. The advantage rule played. Reigns takes advantage of it. Up towards full forward. Van der Haar tries to punch to get it away from Provo's, not successful. Richardson tries to crash through, it's close to the boundary line. And the stalemate develops, it's going to be a bounce just inside the line. So in Collingwood's forward pocket, a chance for the Magpies to come a little bit closer under these very summary conditions of Victoria Park. And it's a boundary throw. 
Well, Fellows and Merritt both missed it. It's left to Walsh, who just about threw it out. In fact, Collingwood supporters thought so. Thompson gains possession. Gets it out to Brian Wood. Wood's kick is a high one, a real rainmaker. Underneath it, Watson has it thumped away from him by Phillips. Loose ball, half forward for Collingwood. Mullane and Thompson clash. That could be a free to Essendon. Yes, no. Collingwood through Mullane. He's played a ripper game today, Mullane. Pick and can he make it two from 20 metres out? Yes, I think he has. Oh, what a shot. Two goals to Bill. And Collingwood fans finding voice. 7-2, 2-8-8 on seven's big lead. Great uh, play on the part of Mullane then. And Billy Pegan, the old champion, the old favourite of the Collingwood crowd, didn't let him down. You watch this over to Billy, right on the angle, a difficult shot on the wrong side of the ground for a right footer, but he put it through. A standing ovation for the old champ. They love him here. So two goals to Pickin. He joins Ricky Barr and man is the leading goal kicker in the match. You'll be proud of that because they've been mates for many years. And Collingwood back with a chance once more. 12 points the difference, 56 plays 44 in our match of the day and the very hot conditions at Victoria Park. 12 points the difference, the Magpies bouncing back as we see Watterson pick it up, ready to send the Bombers back into attack to reply. Hubbard goes now towards Sam and he's there, he couldn't hold that one, he ducked his head. Picked up by Sumner, goes for a wild hand pass and the ball is out of bounds. Sam was looking for a free kick there but the umpire not having a bar of it. 12 points the difference, and the bloke that's revitalized Collingwood is the old champ himself, Billy Pickett. And does this crowd love him down here at Victoria Park, Peter? Hello, what? <laughs> Ball knocked out again. Salmon tries to get clear, and he dropped that. The umpire said no. Plenty of scrimmaging going on. Neither side giving an inch and really going in after the ball. And the umpire will ball it up about uh, 60 metres out from the Eston goal. There are 56 points to Collingwood, 44. And time on in the second quarter. And it looked as though the Bombers were going to go away with this game, but Collingwood uh, bounced back again. Knocked out by Salmon. The ball, a bit of overhead work there as we see Williams trying to get it out. Hawker taps the ball in front of him, fumbles. In goes uh, Mullane. He was grabbed, didn't have the ball. He get a free kick. He's played a fine game here today, Mullane. Yeah, Collingwood's best. He's had seven kicks, two marks and four handballs. Well, he's doing well. Been a very mad one mistake, but uh, he certainly made up for it today with brilliant play. The pack fly off the top of the pack. Van der Hart taps the ball. Has pick it again. Tries to smother it. Walsh can't pick it up. He's got it now. He's grabbed by Burge. It's a bad kick. In goes Neville Shaw. This looks dangerous. A running shot at goal. Up there towards Big Fellows and Van der Hart. Neither can take the mark, and it's through for one point. So the difference now, 11 points. And the Magpies really aggressive, bouncing back. 44 plays, 57. That's 30, 13 points, the difference. 13 points. 13 points, the difference. And getting excited here. Punched away from, uh, by uh, Reigns that time from uh, Danaher. In goes little Lezard. Each grab gets a hurried kick back there towards Danaher. Danaher, Danaher picks it up. Goes for a long hand pass. It's a long one. Oh, good play on the part of Evan at the Evan of Williams. Tapped it away from Harvey nicely. Up it goes to centre half forward. Billy Pickett oh. dropped that one. <laughs> Kicked off the ground by Tony Shaw up the fellows. He'll turn and step for goal if he can. Now he gives the hand pass back to Neville Shaw. Over ranks his fumble. The ball back towards the goal square. The pack player dropped mark that time by Donnell. But backing up well as Roger Merritt goes for a short pass. It's a good one marked here by Mark Thompson. Thompson from half back. Michael 11, Thompson. 11 points the difference. Up to the centre weak position is left to Brian Wood. One of the most experienced campaigners there, Essendon. He'll look for Salmon, of course. Salmon. I've well, got a push in the back from McEwen, but no free kick. Clark around Gafer. Short into the goal. Hawker in the forward pocket. One of the many moves that Sheedy makes. Trying to move players around, and Glenn Hawker has a chance to bring up a goal. Almost in the identical position that Tony Shaw scored the first, go uh, first goal of the match. Got deep pockets at Victoria Park, so a bit of daylight between the posts, and he has put it through for a goal. And that's just what Collingwood didn't need close to half time. I don't think Glenn Walker would score too many goals during the season. 7 3 to 8 8, 45 to 62. And two after two. Well, short pass. Who's he got? Salmon, I don't think it was intended for. Plenty of weight being used down there. Good tackle. Result uh, is a ball to Phillips. Out it comes to Tony Shaw, who's played a great game for Collingwood. So too has Neville. Both the Shaw brothers have done well, and this guy's done well since he came on too. Young Daniels, as Lou said, he kicked three goals in a night match. Here's Neville Shaw. Thompson beats him for it. 
Thompson's playing a great game for Essendon, so is Donnell. Donnell left centre wing. Short pass, the bomber machine looking good at the moment. Watson inside the square. He's gone for a pass. And they're all into it down there on the pocket, Pete. It's been going on for about uh, two minutes now. A little bit of a dish up. Snapshot at goal by Wood, I think, is off target. Probably out of bounds. It is. It will be a boundary throw in. Left forward pocket for Essendon. Well, they've cleaned up everything down there now. They've unraveled the mess. I heard the crowd roar, but of course, play still continued. As you can see it here, this is what was happening. Well, it's a typical football fight, isn't it? A little bit of pushing and shoving. A nothing, bit of wrestling. Nothing too serious. Now, boundary throw in. Left forward pocket for Essendon. Nobody can get a tap out of that. Picked up by Shaw again. Does well. Tony Shaw, well played over to Abernathy. Abernathy's kick is not long, but very high. Barron doesn't get a favourable bounce. It's left for Baker on the fold. He can score a goal from there. That looks pretty good, Gary Folds. Full points to Essendon. And so a goal kicked by Gary Folds. Essendon's 10th, 10 10 to 7 3 at Victoria Park. Well, it's 25 points the difference now, and the Bombers looking good again and well backed up by Folds. Good hand pass coming over. And of course, since coming on about halfway or two thirds of the way through the first quarter, he hasn't put a foot wrong. Been a very valuable player over the years. He's had seven possessions, five kicks, and two hand passes. Centre bounce again. Bombers looking very strong again after Collingwood have been a very aggressive side today. They haven't been disgraced so far. 25 points the difference. Knocked out again, back there towards Morwood. Punched on again by Burgess, back towards uh, Manson. Taps the ball on no one there for Collingwood. Picked up by Danaher, playing at centre-half back. A fumble by Walsh. And Talk, he's played a great game too, but got the ball out. Ball tapped over by Donnell. Watterson, out wide now, and uh, there's Harvey breaking clear. Getting away from range. He's got the job of finding him out there at half-back. Oh, they all fly. There's a free 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 kicks going there. I think it'll go to Weston. It'll go on the head door in the back of the neck that time to uh, to Salmon it was there all the way against McEwen got a chance now for goal number six and he's been a real star here today they had young Glary on him uh, until he kicked uh, four or five goals on the young fella and of course young Glary didn't come back on the ground I think he got four goals on him and one on McEwen uh, came on and he got one on McEwen he's kicked five three so far Lou from eight kicks and one hand pass well he's about let me see uh, He'd be uh, no more than about uh, 30 metres out, directly in front. Shouldn't miss this one. There she is on its way, and that's right through the middle. So it's 31 points the difference now. Seven goals, 345. Collingwood to Eston, 11 goals, 1076. So Paul Salmon shaping up as man of the match indeed, certainly by the uh, statistics. And he's now kicked six goals, three. Both these sides would be tired because they've been pretty uh, tiring uh, conditions here today. The temperature around about the 33 mark. 31 points the difference on Seven's big league from Victoria Park. 11-10 to 7-3. Ball knocked out by Walsh. Harvey was going to hand pass, decides to go for the long kick, looking for Salmon against McEwen. They both missed that one, but little Lazard backing right around. This could be a goal. He's going to run to an open one, and he's put it through. So it's 30. Uh, one point's the difference now. So they're really looking good. Here's our second goal. Well, it's 37 points, I should say. It was 31 points before. 12-10-82 to 7-3-45. Ezar 2-6 to Salmon, Folds, Merritt, Hawker and Michael Thompson. The other goal kickers for Essendon. As the reigning Premier is starting to reserve their superiority now at Victoria Park. Here it is in replay. Good turn of speed, this Luke. Very good uh, turn of speed, Pete. He's backed up well. He was a bit quiet at the start, but the little men are coming into the game now. He's had nine uh, kicks and about two or three hand passes. Nine kicks, two marks, two handballs for Izzard. Centre bounce again. 37 points the difference, and the Bombers are looking like a premiership side again. Ball punched on that time by Spencer, picked up by Malayne. A hand pass coming over to Ebenath, who looks pretty tired at this stage of the match. It goes out wide, and it's out of bounds on Collingwood's half-forward line. It's Collingwood. Seven goals, 3.45 to Western, 12 goals, 10.82. And things are not looking too good uh, midway through this. Shaw going off the ground. Ball out of bounds again up towards uh, Collingwood's half forward line. And Smith coming back on in place of Shaw. 
And that's Tony Shaw off the ground. That's the first time I've seen him taken off the ground for a while. But he must be pretty tired. Might be needing a rest, Lou. Gary Foles got grabbed or pushed by Daniels. Down goes Danaher. And finally picked up by Burgess. But it's out of bounds. Well out of bounds, as you can see on the fall. And it will be a kick to the Bombers in the back pocket. Probably taken by Gary Foles or it might be Thompson. It's going to be the latter. Thompson to take the free kick a little bit further upfield. I think, yes, in the case of the boundary umpire. Yes, and just a little bit too good at the moment after the Magpies got off to a very promising start here at Victoria Park. Is that a mark for Baker or is it out of bounds? I think it might be out of bounds, Leon. Yes, it is. Right in front of our commentary position, or below it, fairly high on the roof here at Victoria Park. A nice breeze coming through today, which is a little bit cooler in June and July, I can assure you. Picked up by Darren Williams. Williams out towards centre wing, or centre field, I should say. Mark Williams takes the mark for Collingwood. He's played well too. Kick over to, uh, or pass over to Gaper. Van der Haar. Well, he, great he hasn't done anything wrong, has he? Got there? off to a slow start, but after about 15 minutes of the first quarter, he hasn't, as you said, Pete, hasn't put a foot wrong. Uh, Van der Haar. Walker fumbles there, but isn't and backing up as always on. And of course, it's Watson. With those familiar runs downfield. What has he given that one to? That was pretty quick. Slight at hand almost to Thompson. Big pack of players down there. Phillips is in the middle of that for the Magpies. It's going to be a stalemate, and the bounce will take place about 10 metres out from goal, with the scoreboard showing Essendon 12-10 to Collingwood 7-3. Manson and Salmon. Richardson. Right back pocket. Into the defensive side of the ground. It bounces just inside. Mullane and Williams. Donnell and Mullane. And Al's played a fair game too, Pete. He has. Been a very handy player. Yes, handy is a word that you could probably use for just about every Essendon player so far. They're very versatile, and Sheedy, of course, not frightened to swing them around, defence or attack. And Danell's played in both sides, uh, both parts of the ground today. Out of bounds in front of Phillips. Some boundary throw in. Left half forward flag for Essendon. Meriton Manson. One by Manson onto Baker. Baker too high, no. Out of bounds once more before Mark Williams can do much about it. And another boundary throw and will take place. 13 and three quarter minutes got in the third quarter. Manson this time with Spencer. Manson doing well. He and Fellows have done exceptionally well in the ruck so far during the day. Baker's kick is smothered. He might get an opportunity. No, again, it's coming out to uh, Williams. Darren Williams' kick is a high one. Harvey underneath it. Gets it off the top. Sumner. Gets it back again from Abernethy. Long kick this time. Down towards half forward. No one there for Collingwood. Van der Haar. Oh, Byron makes the most of a mistake that he made. And I think he might have put it through. Yes, he has. He doesn't look happy about it. Barham made the most of it. 12 10, 2 8 3. Well, always the opportunist, uh, Barham. You'll see this. Van der Haar should have marked this. And as Pete said, his first mistake for the day. Dropped an easy one and backing up beautifully. And he made sure of the kick, too. He dribbled along the ground. Didn't take any chances for a goal. Three goals to Ricky Barham. A badly needed one, certainly, for Collingwood. Back into the centre. It's 82, plays 51 on the seventh big league as we approach the 15-minute mark, third turn. And it's Walsh breaking clear. Not much attention paid to him there. Punched out by Phillips down there at fullback. Is it going now for uh, Sutton to pick it up down there? Now, McEwen, it is down there in the back pocket. He's gone for a hand pass over to Gaffer. He got one a bit higher. to get a free kick? The umpire said no, and the ball will be out of bounds. He's going to pay that free kick, I thought so. Gaffer got it very high. Phillips and Salmon having a little bit of a dish up behind play. I like this fella style. He has a bit of a go too, Gaffer. The ball kicked up there towards the wing position. No one could hold the mark. Fellows dropped that, picked up by Williams. He's really come into the game since quarter time. Goes for a long kick over the centre half forward position. Salmon! He's got it. He had to sit that time all the way, Salmon. Phillips uh, complaining, but he grabbed the mark. Let's watch that again. You can see him coming from well back. And he's grabbed it on the second go. So he's got a chance to kick goal number seven from about 45 metres out. And of course, this will put the Bombers back 37 points in front again. This fellow, no doubt, uh, 
Well, he could break the league record for goal, but he's up target that time. Oh, there's a mark taken down there by Ezar. He's got play on. They've all stood there watching him. He's put it through for a goal. Man, well, they went to sleep then. They, you've got to pick up your players. And the difference now, 37 points in favour of Essendon. 13, 10, 88. The Collingwood, 8 goals, 351. The 1986 Victoria... This afternoon, and tonight we begin our replay with some highlights of the first...